Uh, we're right back here to talk about the some of the products that Nigeria has really imported in 2022. Uh, Mark Adebayo joins us this morning. Merry Christmas and thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, then. A bit of a background to all of this. Africa's biggest economy relies heavily on importation for many goods consumed in the country, including food. And it was, you know, that conversation we had with Ineka just before this time. It exports mostly agricultural goods, which sometimes do not meet the requirement. Now, crude oil and gas uh, are amongst some of these uh, exported products. Now, according to reports by the National Bureau of Statistics, it shows that for the nine-month period, the country's total uh, import stood at 17 trillion naira, indicating a 22.52% decline from 21.95 trillion naira in the same period of 2021. Let's quickly take a look at, you know, some of the products that topped the list of imported items into the country, that's Nigeria, from January to September 2022. Premium motor spirit, popularly called petrol, is the most important, according to the report, product into the country. It accounted for 21.5% of the country's total import in the, in the period. Also, Nigeria's imported, uh, imported gas, which was 261.59 billion naira in the third quarter of 2022, that is 4.62% of the country's total imports of the, for the quarter. Nigeria imported the Durham with what 252.62 billion in the third quarter of 2022. That's a 4.1% increase from the second quarter to the third quarter, accounting for 4.46% of the total imports recorded in the same period. Nigeria as a country spent 93.03 billion naira on the importation of kerosene type uh, kind of jet fuel in the third quarter of 2022, which amounts to 1.64% of its total import. The jet fuel import in Nigeria decreased by 8.9% compared to 102.14 billion recorded in the previous quarter. The statistics will continue, but that's a quick one. Used vehicles that we popularly call Tokumbio vehicles, Nigerians imported used vehicles valued at 90.78 billion in the third quarter of 2022. That accounts for 1.6% of the total bill in the third quarter of 2022. We also spent about 86.58 billion importing sugar cane. Now, filters, this is the cost of which the country, Nigeria, imported about 5.32 billion naira, or spent 5.32 billion, I beg your pardon, to import a third quarter of in the third quarter of 2022, that's medication appliances. It cost the country 48.74 billion naira and 44.71 billion respectively uh, in the third quarter of 2022. Mark Adebayo, thank you so much for joining us. He's a public affairs analyst. Uh, once again, it's good to have you join us. Thank you so much for having me. Good morning, viewers. Yes, I, I, I'd like to ask you at this point, would it be okay to say that Nigeria is an independent you know, nation, an economy that's dependent on import. Oh, thank you so much. Now, Nigeria is a country that is over dependent on imports uh, to the detriment of our, of our economy and to the detriment of our development. The most shameful irony of all the products you have outlined today is the petrol, the PMS, premium motor spirit. You know that is taking almost about a quarter of our total imports. So it is a. Mark Adebayo, we we seem to have been disconnected with you, but if you can hear me, we'd like you to go ahead with your thoughts. Mark Adebayo. All right. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have been disconnected with. Mark, are you with us Hello. now? Can, can, are you, am I, can you hear me now? Can you see me now? Yes, we can hear you. Can you please, you know, start off from where you started off from? I would say that it's a, it's, a, it's a shameful irony that Nigeria, that used to be the fourth largest oil producer in the world, you know, fell, now is now the fourth 
largest oil producer in Africa, even in Africa, where we used to be number one. Now we are importing a, a, a product that we have in large quantity, the, 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 a product that we have in largest quantity. Out of all our exports, we are now importing, at, it, is, it constitutes about a quarter of our total import into the country. It's a shame. That Nigeria. Now Nigeria is now number four behind countries like uh, Angola, Algeria, and Libya in terms of oil production. Libya, that is essentially a failed state, is now producing more oil than Nigeria. And now we are importing what we have in the largest quantity in this country. It's quite a shame. It's part of the failure of leadership of this country, lack of vision, lack of preparation, lack of preparedness for the economic development and growth of Nigeria. It is what has... How can we, in all... Uh, in, any, in, in any way, justify the fact that oil that we have in abundance is what we are now importing is byproduct PMS, and is is costing about a quarter of our total import into the country. It is this a mark of uh, leadership, total leadership failure. You know everything that we inherited in, in uh, from independence, we have we have virtually lost everything. Now Nigeria used to be one of the largest exporters of cocoa. It's no longer there. Nigeria used to be to be among the uh, leading uh, leading lights of of growth of the, of economic development in, in in Africa. Now we have lost that. We used to have one of the look almost everything. You know, look, we used to produce, we had a huge plant that was producing pojo in this country. We have lost that. We used to have a huge plant producing our uh, what do you call it Volkswagen in this country. We have lost that. So many industries uh, we have we have lost them to either uh, Ghana or South Africa. Everything everything that was working for us post independence is no longer working. I grew up to know uh, Water Corporation of Nigeria is no longer there. I I, I, I dug the borehole in my house to produce uh, water for my family. Uh, ditto for every every uh, almost every Nigerian is no longer there. So we, we we seem to be moving backwards. Oil. It's not something that we should be talking about uh, uh, importing to this country or is any of its byproducts. It is something that we should be exporting, but we are importing. And it, it does seem that the conversation, even uh, in the ongoing uh, electionary campaign by the presidential candidates, nobody is talking about how we are going to diversify this economy and stop this crazy importation of fear into the country. How can you? It is unjustifiable. It is unjustifiable for Nigeria to be among uh, the country that I that I importing finished product of uh, of uh, what do you call it of fuel uh, byproducts. And we are bringing that into the oil uh, into the country. It is a shame. It is a, it is a total absolute shame for Nigeria to be among. Uh, like I said, Nigeria used to be number one oil producer in the country. Now we are number four behind uh, Angola, Algeria, and Libya. It, 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 and it is inexplicable how the managers of our economy. To comprehend this type of backwardness and, and feel comfortable doing that. It's quite a shame. Of all the items that have been mentioned, the, the, the one that, uh, and the other one is the sugar cane. In Nigeria, Papa Lanto Elo and some places and some large expanses in Kano produce large amounts of sugar cane, large amounts of sugar cane that can take care of, uh, to, that we can even export to take care of the needs of Africa and Asia. But uh we are not developing it. So we shouldn't be among countries that will be ex importing sugarcane to this country. For, for what, Even the wheat that we are talking about. Oh, okay. 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 Um, um, I mean, um, uh, Adeba, your let's take the conversation further now. You have highlighted that there are two, you know, products on the list or items that has been listed as the most imported in Nigeria that, um, you know, we have the capacity that's what it means for instance you mentioned yeah. oil you have also talked about sugar but um, outside of these two items that you have mentioned are there other items on this list that you think that we have the capacity and there are policies in place to enable us you know uh, produce them and not import them uh the other one that is also very very painful is kerosene is kerosene including the aviation fuel we have the capacity to produce kerosene. I'm talking about kerosene for domestic use. That is that is not even anywhere now. You know, uh, ten years ago, kerosene uh, uh, was the uh, biggest attraction of the of the masses of the common people. People who, who could not afford gas, who could not afford any other means of uh, of cooking, 
they, they used to patronize kerosene, you know, like it was as cheap as like five naira per liter. But today it's, it's out of reach. Even it's now it's now more expensive than gas. So a lot of people now who could not afford gas in those days are now have now resorted to gas rather than kerosene. Kerosene is kerosene is supposed to be for the use of the common people, but it's, it's out of reach for for them now. You can't even find it. It's not even anywhere. That is uh, so either for aviation use or for domestic use. Kerosene is something that Nigeria can comfortably produce in in, in, in commercial quantity and even export. It is not something. It's not a product we should be importing. It's such a shame that we are importing kerosene. Kerosene from from my from my childhood. I, I know that kerosene was quite affordable and accessible, but today it is neither accessible nor affordable. So it's also one of the products that I believe that Nigeria should not be important. It should not be among, which is something that we should be exporting. And because, and you know, when people, when the system, because there's a systemic failure here, has run down the capacity to maintain our refineries. It is, that is the, that is what we are, we are facing now. That's what we are facing now. We, hopefully, there will be a government. That is why I don't blame any of the presidential candidates or any government that's saying that they want to uh, sell off our refineries to private concerns so that they can run it better. Because it doesn't seem that every, anything, any business, any concern, any corporation that government touches in this country is run aground. So, and if we can outsource it to people who can run it very well and, and produce our, our premium motor spirit, produce our gas, produce our currency, uh, either for both for both domestic use and aviation use, the better for, for, for the country. Rather than, are you aware? If you look at the budget, if you see the salary, uh, the staff salary of the Kaduna or the Kaduna refinery that they are collecting for producing nothing in the last eight, ten years, they have, they have produced nothing, but they collect billions of naira every month as salary for. A refinery that has been run aground, that is money bond, that is not working, that is not producing one liter of fuel, and people are there are still collecting salary for doing what? What kind of country? What kind of country are we running? How can we be running a country like this? Okay, so so, 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 so I know that uh, Adeba, I know that in the course of this conversation, you have actually highlighted, you know, maybe one or one or two reason why we're not being able but categorically i'd like you to state it it doesn't you know add up i mean i'm struggling to understand that if we as a people have the capacity to produce some of this item that's that's been most important or we have imported in 2022 then why are we not producing them why are we importing them and subjecting ourselves to a, an economy that is you know uh, dependent on import, import dependent nation. That would be the tag for us as a country. So if we have the capacity to produce this, there are policy in place, we have the structure, we have the where without, we have the technical know-how, then how come we're not, you know, uh, in business? It's, a, it's, it's baffling. It is it's, it's baffling. That's why I said it's, a, it's an irony of shame. You know, Kano, Kano State, or maybe I should include Niger State too. Those two states can produce the sugar cane needs of the world, of the whole world. It's not. It is not an exaggeration. Both so, so, them. so, um, Adebayo, my question is why? Why? It's leadership failure. Simply, simplicita. Leadership failure. Lack of a, lack of visionary leadership. Lack of commitment and attention to the economic development of the country by the leadership. That is why. Uh, where, where we are. It is not because of any other factor. It is about leadership. Like so so corruption is not an issue? Corruption Pardon? is not an issue? It's a major... Look, it's, it's a major... It's, uh, probably it's, it's the central theme of the whole backwardness. Corruption. And everything still boils down to leadership. Everything boils to leadership. Corruption, because people who are benefiting, okay. who are benefiting wrongfully from, from what you call a subsidy, are the ones who we never want fuel importation to end. But by the time the government removes its hand from fuel or from subsidy for importation, you will see that everything we will get our acts right. But corruption, the corruption industry is the largest is the largest industry in this country. Today. We have to and go it is now. Being fueled by the leadership. So that is the that is the tragedy of this country. Corruption. But, but if the leadership 
gets his act right, corruption will, will die in this country. Like there, there's a there's organization. I, I think we need to leave it at that point. If the leadership gets her act right, then corruption would be a thing of the past. Many thanks, Mark Adebayo, for being part of the show this morning. We really do enjoy speaking with you, and we look forward to sharing your thoughts. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous 2023. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, I really appreciate it. Have a great day. And that's the size of our conversation on uh, the breakfast this morning. We will definitely return tomorrow. If you missed out on any part of it, we will be on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Messi Ebopo. We joined the newsroom at 9 o'clock for the news brief. Please stay with us. Good morning.